So last lesson um, we did on Dewai Jayan. Where are you going? And I said a lot of things. Um, a lot of the responses were like, I'm going to the store. I'm going to the hospital. I'm going to the restaurant. I'm going to continue on with that. But we're going to make it more localized in the home, around the home, in your community. Not so much going to buildings, but other places where you think you might go. So your question again is on Dewai Jayan. On Dewai Jayan, where are you going? <clears throat> where are you going? Nui and Dawison. Nui and Dawison. Me and Dave Easton, I'm going to eat. Nui and Da Nippa. Nui and Da Wip Nippa. Nui and Da Nippa, I am going to sleep. Of course, you don't have to use these um, sentences with just the, the question. You could just say them randomly. Nui and Nepa, I'm going to sleep. Nui and Nepa, I'm going to sleep right now. Nui and Nepa, kiss. I am going swimming. Nui and Nepa, kiss. Nui. And the Utamin. No, we and the Utamin. I am going to play. <clears throat> so before I move on to a couple more, we'll go through these again. On day wise, I am. Where are you going? On day wise, I am. Where are you going? Nui and Dawisin, I'm going to eat. Nui and Dawisin, I'm going to eat. Nui and Da Nepa, Nui and Da Nepa, I'm going to sleep. Nui and Da Pagis, Nui and Da Pagis, I'm going swimming. Nui and Da Otamen, Nui and Da Otamen, I'm going to play. Nui Macha, Nui Macha. <clears throat> Nui Macha, I am leaving. Nui Maiskam. Nui Maiskam, I am going shopping. Nui and Da Amia, I am going to prayer. So again, Nui Macha, I am leaving. Nui Macha, Nui Maiskam, Nui Maiskam, I am going shopping. Nui and Da Amia, Nui and Da Amia, I am going to prayer. Whichever way you pray, it works. Amia, prayer, I am going to prayer. This lesson is um, going to be colors. I'm going to um show you the difference when you're speaking in the Soto language there's two ways to say a certain color and that is animate and inanimate uh, animate means living things inanimate means non-living things <clears throat> um so there's again there's a certain way to say the color whether it's living or non-living um like this is not real, but it is real. Today it's real. Um, it's living, I mean, and this is non-living. I'll show you those in a bit though. I'm just gonna go through the colors right now. 
Ezi sasopia kate. Ezi sasopia kate. And these are the inanimate colors. Again, inanimate means non-living. So you use these colors for, for non-living things. <clears throat> Wapishka. 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 White. White. I don't have a white marker, but it's white. Sorry, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. White. Wapishka. Wapishka. <clears throat> Makatewa, makatewa, black, makatewa, black. No, let's use this, black. Makatewa. Misqua, misqua, red, red. Do I have red? I do. Misqua. Ozawa squa, Ozawa squa, and uh, with Ozawa squa, um, because they're quite similar. You can say this for both blue and green. All right, first. Blue and green. Ozawa squa. Blue and green. Ozawa squa. <clears throat> I'm getting all mixed up here with my markers. Ozawa. Ozawa is <clears throat> yellow, brown, and orange. Ozawa. And probably go and you can use this for gold too. Little brown and orange. Meaning is not one. Meaning is not one. And that is purple. So again, the uh, inanimate colors, wapishka, white, makatewa, black, miskwa, red, uzaskwa, blue or green, uzawa, yellow, brown or orange, and mining is in wakan, purple. I just, there is other colors. I just use the ones that fit with my markers. I could add to, I could add more later, like gray, pink. That's probably about it. <laughs> but, um, so again, you would only use these for non-living things. That's what inanimate means. Sometimes you'll see you'll see things like Ozawa can you they're trying to say brown or gold eagle but they're saying it kind of wrong because uh, eagle is living so that's why we need to distinguish the colors for people so they understand what they're saying and so they're saying them properly Easy. So, 
Sasopikazot. That's the difference. Animate. Animate colors. Living. For living things. Wapiskizi. Wapiskizi. So that's white. Makat. Makate we see. Um, Makate we see. Makate we see. And that's black. Miskoze. Miskoze. Red. Ozawaskoze. And that's again blue and green. Blue and green. Holy. Uzawasi, <laughs> yellow, brown, and Brown and orange. We get difficult here. Yellow, brown, and orange. Yellow, brown, and orange. And then there are I mean your purple, yeah. Meaning is in equacy. Meaning is in equacy. Purple. So you can see the ver it's very, very similar between the two colors, even though they're animate, inanimate. <coughs> You see, see is at the end of all of the animate colors. So that would be a way to remember if you're saying animate or inanimate. If it has C at the end, wapishkizi, makattawisi, miskuzi, uzawaskuzi, uzawisi, mening izanekwisi. Just by me pronouncing, you could tell I work more with the inanimate colors with my students at at work because I haven't got I haven't taught them this yet because I don't want to confuse them. But what people can do at home is get their crayons, the the little crayons. It will take some time just to um, take a black marker, cross it out and start writing these colors on your crayons. And that's a way for you to teach yourself or your children uh, the different colors. Um, so <clears throat> that's the difference between animate, inanimate. Animate, inanimate. Uh, what do I have here? I don't know if you want me to write it down. So if I had students here, I would ask, I went in a way. Mr. Tem. Mr. Tem. Would I say, Wapashka, Mr. Tem. Shikwa, Wapishkazi, Mr. Tem. Wapishkazi, Mr. Tem. A white horse. Well, there's other colors, but let's just say it's just white. Wapishkazi, Mr. Tem. This is a living thing. We could not say, Wapishka, Mr. Tem. It would not make sense to a fluent speaker. Awenenoe, who is this? Or what is this? Awenenoe, what is this? You know that a horse is mista tem. Would you say makatewa mista tem or makatewa si mista tem? 
makatte wey simisteta it's animate we're 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 not we're pretending they're alive right now they're not toys <laughs> okay <coughs> Yeah, for an apple, you would say um, that's a little bit tricky. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll get into that okay. later when I do food. Okay. Yeah. Because some of them are still considered animate because they're growing. Okay. Okay. And it's, it's tricky because it could be a live. They're all living in it, obviously. But some are just come. I'll get into that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll get into that. Um, and then these, I tried to find a white one to keep it consistent, but there is no white one. Kwapayakan. <laughs> Kwapayakan. Um, a ladle, something you dip with, dip soup with or food with. Kwapayakan. So, we're going anyway. What is this? Kwapaikan. Kwapaikan. Would you say miskwa kwapaikan or miskoze kwapaikan? Miskwa kwapaikan. You cannot say miskoze because it's not alive, it's not living. Kwapaikan. Kwapaikan. Makatewa kwapaikan. Makatewa isi kwapaikan. Makatewa. Makatewa kwapaikan. Because it's not living. Um, makatewa. Makatewa isi. So we're going to do a, a quick lesson on the directions in the language. Um, north, east, south, west in English. <laughs> and Soto is kiwetenong, kiwetenong, kiwetenong. So that comes from our prior lesson when we were saying niwikiwe, I'm going home. So we always determined um, Going north, like we're going home. Kiwetanong. Wapanong. Wapanong. East. Wapanong. Zawanong. 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 South. Pangishamong. 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 West. So again, Kiwetanong. Wapanong. Zawanong. Pangishamong. <coughs> Um, you can actually do this in your own home. You can either write them in on paper like this and just until you learn your and put them in the actual direction. Yeah, I'm just showing them a blank paper. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. yeah. I'm just showing them a blank paper. Uh, you can use a blank paper and put your directions or you can even write them up on your wall until you learn them and then you can take them down. So again, kiwete nong. North, Wapanong, East, Sawanong, South, Pangishamong, West. I just made some a, a few sentences using the the directions. If you were here, oh, I already wrote them in. <laughs> Sorry. Kiwetenong nawiya zawapang. Kiwetenong nawiya zawapang. So you guys already know what niwiyaza means from prior lessons. I'm going. So that's a perfect example of um, speaking in Soto. There is no word order. I am going north tomorrow. Pangishamong inake izawak. Pangisa mong inake izawak. Oh, I didn't write that. <coughs> we are going. If you could see that. We are going west. 
So this is a new is a I'm going is a walk. There we are. Yeah. Okay. Anapi wapanong wa is ayan. Anapi wapanong wa is ayan. When are you going east? Anapi. Why is Zion? That sh that shouldn't be new to you either. When are you going east? And Uzawa nong unto se awe nene. Uzawa nong unto se awe nene. This man comes from the south. Unto se. Or you can say, Ozawa nung unto se awe ikwe. This woman comes from the south. So that's just different ways to say those sentences, use sentences. And that's just showing you that there is no word order. Like if, like if you were to decipher this in English, it would say north, I am going tomorrow. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you um, how to say the um, today, yesterday, tomorrow, and then we'll go on to learn the days of the week. Um, kind of the modern day way of saying the days of the week because we never really had days of the week long time ago. So they, they've kind of been adapted into our language as time went on. And you'll see that when I do this. Should be a you. Wapang. Wapang. Wapang, which is tomorrow. Nungum. Nungum. That says Nungum. Nungum. Nungum, which is today. Pichinago, 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 which is yesterday. So again, wabang, wabang, tomorrow, nongum, nongum, today, Pichinago, Pichinago, yesterday. We're going to need to know these for our sentences after we do the days of the week. That's why I wanted to teach Wapang Nungkum Pichinago. Wapang Nungkum Pichinago. Aname Kijikan. Aname Kijikan. So you also hear people say Aname Kijikan. It just all depends on the, the dialect, the different regions. Aname kijikan, aname kijikan. Same, mean, means the same thing. This could be like that. Aname kijikan. Um, which is Monday. Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> which is Sunday. <laughs> The literal translation for that is praying day. I like I, I stated before, this is kind of, these are kind of newer terms after the church came in because as First Nation people, we prayed every day, not only on Sunday, but this is what, how we determine the days of the week because again, we never had days of the week. Um, some people might say the seventh day. I've never really heard it for for Soto, Nakwe, Anishinaabe, Moen. Um, so I can't say. And the Mekijikan, but the other ones I have. Um, Ishkwan Mekijikan, the day after, which is Monday. which literally trans into the day after. 
pretty. Ishkwanamekijikan. Ishkwa means the after. <clears throat> Niso kijikan. Niso. See, I don't even have it on there. Oh, <laughs> I don't even have it on my. Niso kijikan, the second day, which is Tuesday. It's not like the number Neso, which is three. It's Niso, Niso Kijikan, the second day. That word Nis is right here to make it the second day. Niso Kijikan. And that, the Literal trans the translation is second day. Apitaose. Mm. Yeah. Apitaose. Um, which is Wednesday. Uh, Petose, which is Wednesday, it translates into halfway done, halfway there, halfway. Petose. So, as you notice, Petose, you don't say Kijikan in there because you're halfway, halfway through. Nyo Kijikan is Thursday, which translates into the fourth day. So again, Aname Kijikan, Shkwaname Kijikan, Niso Kijikan, Apto Se, Nio Kijikan. I'm going to put this, I'll put this over here. So, Nano Kijikan, which is Friday, translates into the fifth day. So, Niz, Nizo Kijikan, the second day. Niwen, Niyo Kijikan, the fourth day. Niwen, Niyo Kijikan. Nanan. Nanan is five in the language. Nano kijikan. And then we have Saturday. Matinoe kijikan. Matinoe kijikan, which is Saturday. Which translates into Long time ago, we used to have ration days. That's what that means, ration day. Is that how you spell ration? <laughs> okay, ration day. <clears throat> so that's your days of the week. Aname kijikan, shkwaname kijikan, niso kijikan, apatose, niyo kijikan, nano kijikan, matinoe kijikan. <clears throat> so they again all these words have been adapted to make days of the week we didn't have days of the week a long time ago um, some would say kijikan, first day I'm not sure how they would say Sunday in Soto um, but this was kind of when the church came in because they're saying that Sunday is the only praying day, whereas when we're Anishinaabe, we pray every day. So, 
now I'm going to make some sentences with, um, with these words. With either these words or some of these words. Or you have to answer them. So we could change this to, it doesn't have to be kijikan anymore, you could use kijikat. So we're talking about something about nongom, which is today. And we know that kijikat means day, day, or kijikan, kijikat. Anin is kijikat nongkom. What day is it today? You're asking. Anin is kijikat nongkom. What day is it today? So you would say, Eskwan na make kijikat nongkom. Eskwan na make kijikat nongkom. You answered. Today is Monday. <coughs> so again, you see that. Oh, Anin Kaiji Kijika Pachinako. Anin Kaiji Kijika Pachinako. You know that word Pachinago is in there. Pachinago, yesterday. Day, Kijikat. Anin ka Kijika Pachinago. So, what day was it yesterday? Anin Kijikat. Anin ka Kijika Pachinago. So your answer would be yesterday was Sunday. Kiana me kiji kan pachinako. Kiana me kiji kan pachinako. Yesterday was Sunday. So this ki makes it was. Ana me kiji kan pachinako. Kiana me Yesterday was Sunday. What was the day yesterday? This was was. Was. Ki. Ka ki. So, anin wa ijikiji ka wapang. Anin wa ijikiji ka wapang. What was, what will the day be tomorrow? What will the day be tomorrow? So, anin wa ijikijika wa pang. What will the day be tomorrow? We niso kijikan wa pang. We know niso kijikan wa pang. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. This is will be tomorrow, Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. I don't want to get anyone too confused. This is kind of for later on learning, but you'll know how to ask what day is it today? What day will it be tomorrow? Um, you're not worrying about grammar. You're just learning about how to say these sentences first of all. Then you can figure it out later. <laughs> what, where, what fits where and why. Kichime <laughs> Gwech for, for watching the Lessons, and I'll see you again soon. Giga Wapamen. Ah, <laughs>